Since 2006, former U.S. Marine and current American Le Mans racing driver Jason Carter has been providing free racetrack visits to disabled veterans from the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. He calls his program Racing for Our Heroes, which is funded in part by a grant from the DAV's Charitable Service Trust. Veterans and family members who attend Racing for Our Heroes events with Jason are treated to a truly first-class experience. Car rides, visit to the pits, food, fellowship, fun are all part of the track experience for the veterans honored by Racing for Our Heroes. Many of you have seen Jason's Porsche race car parked just outside the doors of the convention hall. It's a beautiful race machine and we're proud to be honored among its signage. Uh, and I would like to say Jason said I could have it after the uh, meeting. And, and Nancy O'Brien heard him say that, so uh, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, but even more impressive than the car is the determination, dedication, and big heart of the man who drives it. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome America Le Mans driver and founder of Racing for Our Heroes, Jason Carter. Thank you. Good morning. And uh, Commander Dempsey, thank you for the invitation to be here. All, every one of the uh, DAV delegates and participants and members here, I, uh, if I haven't met you already this weekend, I hope we get to meet uh, to, at some point today. Thank you for having me. Thank you for allowing us uh, to be here. And on behalf of Rob Reynolds and myself, I think we should extend an apology to the hotel here because clearly neither he, he nor I can follow any parking regulations or rules uh, regarding our vehicles. So um, we appreciate you having us and, uh, and thank you. In all seriousness, um, military service is a big part of my family. My, I have a grandfather that lost his life in World War II. Um, my father served in Vietnam in the Air Force as a flight surgeon. And uh, I served as a 6174. I was a Huey crew chief in the Marine Corps in the early 90s. Oh! And, uh, and my brother is currently downrange as a First Force Recon Marine uh, in, Afg in Afghanistan. So he, um, thank you. He is, uh, he is definitely at the sharp end of the spear. And um, uh, I, I would like to sit here and tell each and every one of you that uh, uh, Racing for Our Heroes was a, was a culmination and came from my own service, but that would not be telling you the truth. Um, I, I quickly learned after my, my brother enlisted and, and uh, definitely after he got deployed that my actions in the early 90s definitely have repercussions. And I have a younger brother who wanted to do nothing, but everything his older brother did. And, um, and so now he serves. And uh, when, he, when he enlisted, I, I really began to, to think, what am I doing to give back? What, what am I doing to help those who are wounded coming back from, from service? So I called Walter Reed and Brook Army Medical Center and said, can I come and meet some of the wounded warriors? And I would love to take a few on some of my, uh, some of my races all over the United States. Excuse me. All over the United States. And... Perhaps, uh, you know, perhaps I get uh, 10 or 20, maybe 30 guys, and I would just uh, do it as my own private thing and uh, as a way to give back. And, and uh, that was over 600 wounded warriors ago. So um, thank you. So uh, I quickly began to realize that this was a, this was a bigger project and, uh, than I could handle all by myself. And there's a... There's a person here that I need to recognize who um, is as important a piece of Racing for our Heroes as myself, and that's Command Sergeant Major Craig Layton. Where are you? Sergeant Major Layton, thank you for your service. Sergeant Major Layton was uh, 
31 years active duty and uh, retired as the Command Sergeant Major of Brook Army Medical Center. And uh, after he retired to Southwest Florida and had nothing to do with his days, I said, uh, how about coming on some race car trips and helping me with some wounded warriors? And so uh, he's been doing that ever since. And Sergeant Major, thank you for everything you do. Um, but we, uh, you know, Racing for Our Heroes has really uh, developed into a labor of love. We have had uh, married couples who have renewed their vows after coming on race car trips with us. Um, we have, uh, we get emotional and, and heartbreaking thank you notes and stories of how just time away from the hospital, some of these guys 10, 15, 20, 25 months inpatient. Um, you know, uh, just the time away, getting some sun on your face and some wind in your hair has helped them out tremendously. We also um, are doing occupational therapy for guys who want to pursue a career in motorsports. That's a new project we've started this year. And we also extend uh, DAV memberships to every one of our Wounded Warriors. And to date, we have had 100% membership participation for our Racing for Our Heroes Wounded Warriors. So b before I go, I know I'm not supposed to take too much of your time. Before I go, I just would like to say a thank you to the board members of the Charitable Service Trust. Thank you for your, for your vision, your trust, your dedication, and your support. It is great, greatly, greatly appreciated. Uh, I would also like to recognize Major General Retired Granger. General Granger, are you here? Thank you, sir. Thank you for coming. General Granger. Uh, General Granger is a, uh, is a friend of the, the Sergeant Majors, and he, he retired as the, uh, the commander of TRICARE. So he is, uh, I know that's a name each and every one of you know, and so General Granger, you honor us here today with your presence. Thank you, sir. Um, with that, I just want to say thank you so much for having us on behalf of the Sergeant Major and, I, and myself. Thank you. Thank you for your service. Thank you for what you've given to the country. and. Uh, if I haven't met you yet, please come see me, and uh, we'll be here all day today. Thank you again. Thank you, Jason, for your concern and special treatment for our wounded warriors. And Jason, you could leave the uh, keys up on the desk anytime you want for the car. Okay, thank you. For four years ago, the DAB produced a dramatic film for the National Football League publicizing and honoring the service of disabled American veterans. With rave reviews from the league and the NFL teams, GIs of the Gridiron became an award-winning classic. As with all good things, the NFL teams asked for more. Over the past year, a DAB production team led by National Communications Director Gary Weaver worked closely with the NFL and our wounded service members to produce another memorable theme. Its working title is The Great American Team. From training camps to the Super Bowl, our production team recorded the contributions of players, teams, and the NFL in support of disabled service members. While not yet complete, it is polished enough for you to see it publicly for the first time. What you are about to see is both instructive and inspiring. The positive spirit of our service men and women is permanently etched into the program and it celebrates the DAV at our finest. Ladies and gentlemen, I am very pleased to present the great American team. <laughs> 